unlikely things to hear in a science documentary. <laughs> Having cloned Ian Wright, we now know that two Ian Wrights don't make an Ian wrong. <laughs> Erectile dysfunction. Physical problem? Or has the wife just let herself go a bit? <laughs> well, this is incredible. This is a whole new species of miniature tiger. Oh, no, hang on, it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> now, pay attention, here comes the shampoo bit. <laughs> We discovered the source of the quark. It's the sound made by a posh duck. <laughs> <laughs> this is a red dwarf. His name is Anthony Worrell Thompson. <laughs> Welcome to the sky at night. And if we look out, we... Oh, hell! Croydon's on fire! <laughs> Despite getting a very bad press, biological weapons work at much lower temperatures than non-biological weapons. <laughs> Without penicillin, well, I'd still be cursing that day I went to Bangkok. <laughs> Tonight we look at the ginger community. <laughs> Physical anomaly. A oh, God's cruel joke. <laughs> ah, the Northern Light. Oh no, Manchester's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but will they find a cure in time? The last hope for mankind lies with scientists here at the Laboratoire Garnier. <laughs> Tonight on Show Me the Evidence, we look at the traveller community. <laughs> <laughs> Can they really put a curse on you? <laughs> and as the sperm swim towards the eggs, it's hard not to think that I've ruined this fried breakfast. <laughs> going to have a fried breakfast. <laughs>